Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeff from Church Motion Graphics, and I want to show you how to make high energy graphics in Photoshop uh, using free images from CMG Create. So I'm in cmgcreate.com right now. I'm just going to go up to the search button and create a new tab with uh, the Pro Layers content open so that I've got just all the Pro Layers in one tab and then all of the still images in another tab. Here I am in Photoshop with a 1920 by 1080 image. There's nothing in it right now. So let's get started. Let's go back into Chrome and let's just choose a base layer. I like this one. Nice and bright. I want to save it to my desktop. 16 by 9 is perfect. Click download. Downloads the file. I'm going to go to Finder and there's my image right there. I'm going to drag it over and put it into Photoshop. Okay, I've got a nice base layer. Let's keep going. From there, let's maybe put a pro layer on top. Let's find something interesting. Maybe something like this. Looks good. Download the desktop, 16 by 9. Click download. Go back into Photoshop. Bring up my finder window. And drag and drop that image over. Now it's white to begin with. I'm going to do Command I to invert it. Change the white into black. I'm liking how this is looking already. Go back into Chrome, maybe pick another image. Let's find something like this, something dark. That's uh, Colored Smoke Mystery is what it's called. I'm going to download that. Go back into Photoshop, bring up my Finder window, drag and drop that over. And then what I'm going to do here is See how I have actually let's keep moving now. Let's let's bring in um let's let's just move this below the previous layer and then let's pick another pro layer. Again, I'm just doing this on the fly. I'm gonna be kind of changing things around, but you'll you'll see very quickly that uh the process is, is very simple. So let's pick another one, maybe something like this. Let's download that. Pull up Photoshop again. My Finder window. Drag that over. Okay, now I've got a few layers, which is great. Um, you see over here, I want to put my image layer above the Pro layer. And then between the, uh, the image and the Pro layer, I want to hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC. And you'll see that your cursor will change. And you click. And then what happens is that uh, the layer below becomes a mat uh, for the layer above it. I don't, I don't really know what it's called, but um, if I turn everything off, you can see see how it's, it's, it's used the um, alpha channel of the pro layer as the mat of uh, the smoky layer. So very easy way to add in um, extra images into your uh, final composition. Okay, lay, let's lay this one over top. Maybe lower the opacity. Maybe add in a curves to try to bring everything in together. A bit of an S curve. Maybe add a curves to this an adjustment layer curves uh, just below the bottom layer. Know if we need to darken it. I'm just playing around with opacity and maybe let's turn off that invert. And what we could do is maybe add another image to this one. Use use this pro layer as a matte image as well. Or turn it off and we could just pick a different one. Maybe we have too many circles. Let's try try to find something with more lines. 
Maybe let's try something like this. Download it. There is some playing around. You know, you're not just going to throw a few things together and make it look perfect um, at once. But you know, turn layers on and off, switch things around, and you know, just find what works best. Let's go back into all the images. Let's find something really bright. Maybe something like this. Download it. Go to Finder. A little bit of back and forth, but I think it's worth it. Again, let's use the mat. Use the layer below as a mat. Okay, this is looking interesting. Maybe move these two layers up. And you know, we're starting to build something here. Maybe change, uh, add a hue and saturation adjustment layer just below the bottom layer and then I can I can either adjust this or just turn down the saturation of my kind of my base layer try to find some some colors that uh, go better together let's change the color of this uh, this line one and how you can do that is just add an adjustment layer hue and saturation now it will add that to the whole image, but what you can do is a kind of daisy chain um, these stacks together. So again, I'm clicking, uh, pressing Option Alt between uh, two layers, and then these these layers, Hue and Saturation Two and Lava Light Harvest, are using Danger Seventeen as a matte layer. So now when I change the saturation of this adjustment layer it's just changing um, you know this this one image I'm not changing everything this one layer so this is looking good I think I could actually add maybe one more pro layer over top just something really subtle just to add a little bit more to the image let's find something interesting I like this very thin lines and small dots. I really like that look. Let's go back into Photoshop, bring up Finder. It's called Rockstar 17. Actually, let's cancel that. Let's make sure we're right at the top. So let's click the top layer. Let's drop that in again. There, now it's right at the top. Now it's white. I'm going to do Command I again to invert that layer so it's black. That looks good. Just adds a little bit of texture little bit of dimension to the image and I like how this is looking you know this is interesting got my curves I'm gonna put that right at the top again um, now maybe one more thing if maybe you're gonna have text right here and this is just too busy I would do one more thing and that would be to add a layer mask to this kind of matte image. So I'm going to click down here, layer mask, and then I'm going to create a radial gradient right from the middle. Click from the middle and stretch it out. Maybe that was too much. I like to do undo. Maybe just make it smaller. And I keep undoing it until I find something I like. Maybe something like that. That could help. Um, Give you give you some I don't know more neutral space to write in text, but you know what I'm just going to take it out and I like how this looks and there you go I'm done. Hopefully you like this tutorial. I know I said things very quickly, but um, if if you missed a few things, just watch it again. Very uh, simple repetitive techniques to create this image, and once you understand them and can do them quickly. Um, you can use CMG Create to make you know a lot of images very quickly that are custom um, to the projects that you're creating. So hopefully this helps. Um, all the best to you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment where this video is posted. Thanks.